Welcome to another episode of Dungeons and Dialogues, the show where I dialogue about dungeons and or dragons. I'm your host, Sam, and thanks so much for joining. In this series, we talk about everything D&D. We'll interview players, talk about how to play the game, build characters, and most importantly, have fun. Before we get into it, I wanted to say thank you to Dice Envy. Check out our affiliate link down below for some sick-ass dice. Also, check out our Patreon, Instagram, and podcast wherever you get your podcasts. You can click on any of the links below or just search The Bottle Cap Brigade. Also, if you're not doing doing anything on Thursdays around 6.45 Mountain Standard Time, be sure to check out the Bottle Cap Brigade's live stream. <laughs> Lastly, if you'd like to like and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. Viewers like you help us make more of this content, and that makes us really happy. Let's begin. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Dungeons & Dialogues. I am Sam. I am so sorry for the long break in between content. I've been just unbelievably busy, and uh, we've got a new dog. And I moved into a new studio, but uh, I'm back at it. So today I felt compelled to make something a little bit different. With some of the changes that Wizards of the Coast is making to some of D&D module content, I thought it would be a good time to cover some really nice, easy kind of one-shots that some of you can use to either start a new campaign or add into like an existing group of folks. And so I picked two that I'm really familiar with and I really, really enjoyed running as a DM. And then one that I had literally no clue about uh, when I started doing some of the research about this, but I am actually now really excited to run it for myself. So uh, let's dig in. So the first one is a Most Potent Brew. This was developed by Richard Jansen Parks with Winghorn Press. And I'm starting off with this one because it's by far the most geared towards new DMs and new players. It's really simple. It's for, you know, level one characters. And all you need is the basic player's handbook. You don't need like any additional modules. You can add them on obviously, but it's by no means a requirement. The concept behind this is, is honestly really simple. I think it's like a really great fantasy concept it's a it's a really small dungeon crawl um, in a brewery where you have to clear out some baddies right nothing too fancy it comes with some really neat little maps um, some handouts for your players so as a DM you can kind of drive some of that interactivity and it's centered around a brewery and beer so like there's you know can't go wrong with that two because it's first level if you're DMing with a new group of people or uh, folks that haven't played D&D before or if you yourself are a new DM uh, it really doesn't take as much to build a first level character as opposed to a character that's like level 11, right? Uh, and if you're familiar at all with D&D Beyond, you can literally just make a pre-made character, go through, make all the selections really quickly, um, and then have yourself a campaign ready to go. Now, I included the website where you can find this below. Um, you can do it for free, which is awesome, but also if you want to donate, like you can donate between one and a bajillion dollars if you want to. I think that's always awesome if you have the means to do so, but COVID's weird and money's tight, so if you just want something to run with your friends for free, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. But overall, out of the three that I'm going to cover today, this is, again, the easiest, quickest, simplest little one-shot to run with your friends, uh, especially if you're just getting into it. 10 out of 10 recommend this one. So moving on, we're going to talk about the Wolves of Welton. This is my personal favorite one shot. I think it's super duper fun and you can get really creative. I don't think I've ever actually kept this to just a one shot. I think I've ran this module three or four times and each time it's been two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five sessions. And each of those sessions wind up being, you know, three or four hours easily. Wills of Welton overall takes a little bit more planning than a most potent brew, but it's still conceptually really easy to understand as a DM and as a player. You know, the group of party members needs to go to town, get a quest, find some wolves. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's not by any means super complicated. However, it has the opportunity for a DM to really explore Welton, the town itself, um, to explore uh, a group of wolves in a way that you wouldn't really expect. And two, it's made for characters that are level two to three, but I found that you can really pretty easily scale that up depending on what you do with some of the magic baked within the module itself. 
Also with this, if you have, uh, you know, kind of an already established campaign going on, you can really, really easily integrate it into your already running campaign. It's a little bit less fluid to start a group off on Wolves of Welton, but it's still not that hard. You just kind of have to fudge uh, their, their meeting. Also, if you're familiar with Roll20, uh, there are tons of pre-made maps and stuff that you can essentially just plug and play into uh, any sort of online streaming system. There's not a whole lot of prep surrounding that. Overall, really, really, really love Wolves of Welton. Like I said, get ready for a longer session, uh, but there's a lot of options with it and it's just super fun overall. So number three, and one that I am personally really excited to run uh, the next time I have the ability to DM a one-shot is called Challenge of Champions. So Challenge of Champions was developed by Jonathan M. Richards, and there's some actually really cool art by Ken and James and Kyle Hunter included with it. It's a really puzzle-based one-shot, and they went through and like drew out all the puzzles. Uh, take a look, it's, it's really cool, but uh, let's talk about it a little bit. So Challenge of Champions, uh, after reading through the module, is kind of like the, the definition of a dungeon crawl, right? Your player characters are essentially competing in a challenge of champions, and they get to go through a litany 10, I think, total challenges to test their mettle, right? At the end, there's a winner. Um, and so it's a really cool kind of different take on a, a traditional one shot where your party is typically all aligned under one cause in this. They're kind of competing against each other, which I think is a really fun concept. Not to give too much away, but uh, you know, there's a really good combination of puzzles, monsters, uh, like different ways to think about D and D, and it's made for uh, player characters of any level, right? So you could have like a level one character and a level ten character, and they could be running through this and uh, they wouldn't necessarily have an advantage over one another. Um, it's a lot of like thought concept kind of play. Also in looking at this, it, it seems to me like this might be a little bit of a long one as well. Um, thinking about how I would DM this campaign, it would probably take three or four sessions, just kind of depending on you know the interactivity between the players and how drunk we get and all sorts of other kind of variables, right? But it seems really well thought out. Uh, it looks like they did a really, really good job making it. Some of the puzzles, even if you're not going to run that one shot specifically, you could probably steal those puzzles and use them in your own campaign. Again, the link is down below, but uh, it's really thoroughly written out. Um, the one kind of downside I would see to this is if you are going to be DMing the session, uh, don't do it unless you've DMed uh, quite a few times before in the past. It's It seems complicated, both in the fact that you have to have a pretty good conceptual understanding of all of the puzzles before you run the module, um, or else there's like a potential of it being uncomfortable because you have no idea what the hell you're doing. But you know, as long as you take the time, read through the module, prep it, run through it kind of in your head, or you know, run through it with your partner or friend, uh, just to make sure you're not gonna botch it, I think it'll be just fine. Overall, looks like an absolute blast. I'm excited uh, to run through it, good job to whoever developed this. It's it's a really nice module, and uh, thanks for giving me a bunch of puzzles that I can steal and throw into my campaigns. Anywho, that's it. Super short video, but I just wanted to give everyone a bit of a concise rundown of a couple of different fun one-shots that you can run with your friends, especially since there's so many new players getting into the game right now. Uh, I wanted people to have kind of an outlet to do that without feeling intimidated um, and to have some good recommendations. So um, leave uh, you know a like, leave a, what, one of those subscriptions to the channel and uh, actually just like really toss in a comment letting me know what your favorite one shot is, what I missed, and um, I will check it out and probably force a bunch of my friends to run through it with me. So, bye. <laughs>